Hello, my mob mates. Just an expression I just decided to make up. Give it a go, see if it catches on. Don't know, might do. I like to be original like that though, so why not? What's this? What's this? I don't know, maybe I'll tell you. But the other day someone was talking about the whiskey tube and it got me thinking, creative that I am, business idea. So, soon to be patent pending, this is my whiskey tube. And I'm actually gonna retail my whiskey tubes. I've got a few for sale. I ran about the 50 pound mark. So if you're interested, get in touch. It's a unique offer. Um, it can be used for a few things that like you've got guests over, you're all eating dinner, and it's like, oh, well, what, what are we drinking tonight? Should we, should we have a look behind the whiskey tube? Or, for instance, now I'm about to unveil it. So you're thinking, oh, what's in that glass, Max? Oh, oh, I'm not looking at the title for some reason. What's in that glass? And I go, well, let's have a look in the whiskey tube, shall we? It's a Glenfiddich Rich Oak. Hey, and then when you're done with that, you can look through the whiskey tube. Ta -da! Um, anyway, loads of purposes for that. It's a business idea I'm working on. So, time to raise our glasses. <laughs> and um, what we'll do is we'll just explore some of this fine bouquet. Uh, Glenfiddich, Rich Oak. <coughs> Why is it called Rich Oak? Were they assuming the economic status of the oak? You didn't know what the oak's been through. You didn't know its upbringing. Rich. What's rich anyway these days, huh? <laughs> really. Anyway, part of the review is to talk about the whiskey. I'll, I'll start then. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, the legs come down just as quick as the whiskey does. Lovely, very light, light colour. To it look it looks delicate so 14 years so this was uh, what did they say been to the distillery twice first time nice second time there was a fire alarm asked me to leave I didn't set it off I said all right I'm happy to wait they said no you need to leave fire engines gonna come in here you're blocking I don't know how it was, but I left. I'm not going to argue. It's a shame I have to go back there. <laughs> Any excuse? Uh, right, so. Hold the whiskey up to the light. Check for impurities. Uh, check for insects. Stuff like that. So, 14 years. Uh, 14 years ex bourbon. And then, if I remember correctly, following that, there were 12 weeks in New American Oak. And 6 weeks in New European Oak. I think it was the other way around. 12 weeks in New European Oak. So, no. No, I was, I was right the first. I was right one of those ways. But it was 14 years, 12 weeks, 6 weeks. I remember because it was interesting. It says something on the front of the bottle in gold. The bottle could be worth money. Mature for 14 years and then delicately finished in New American and Spanish Oak to create a complex harmony of lively fruit flavours and rich new oak. So, I was right, European, Spanish, same thing really. Um, the American oak would have been used to help with um, spice, fruit, vanilla. Uh, as for the Spanish, I believe it wouldn't have done the vanilla, but it would have been a bit more complex and there would have been a bit more, a different type of spice. And if I remember correctly, it would have been an elegant fruit. You know, the kind that's like, oh, no, no. I believe I ripened before you. Elegant. I, I, I think that's what elegant is. How do you know if somebody is elegant or posh? 
Do you know? Well, a posh person looks like a normal person, but halfway through a sneeze. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. It sounded right in my head. So, yeah. Star Wars t-shirt. Solo film. Tomorrow. Or is it? Are you watching this now? Are you watching this tomorrow? Is today tomorrow? Is the film out today? Or is it out yesterday? I don't know when you're watching this. If you play your cards right, I'll do a Chewbacca impression later. Because Chewbacca is in the film. Cool, hey? Anyway, review time. Not here to talk about Star Wars. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I can't. Right, let's do a review. Yeah, I can see what they mean now. Rich Oak. Yeah, there's Oak influence. Very much an Oaky influence. Very fruity. By fruity, I'm picking up Dates, raisin, actually do you know what, there's more than one in there, I'm going to say raisins, I'd have a really good sense of smell if I could just find one raisin, someone dropped a raisin, no there's raisins, there's more than one, a few, handful, vanilla, does that count as a fruit? Pretty sure it does. Cinnamon, maybe nutmeg. I can almost smell like a bit of bourbon as well. Yeah, so if you're having a bourbon tonight, someone somewhere in this world is probably sniffing a bourbon as I sniff this. And they're really trying to find the flavours. Well, <coughs> Don't laugh at that. That's not nice. That's not nice. There are some really nice bourbons out there. Pretty sure I've got everything there so far. I'm going to move on to the palette. <laughs> Why? Because I want to. Well, it's a bit spicy, only a little bit, fruity, um, there's vanilla as well, quite nice vanilla, it complements it, it's quite rich, sweet, a bit of vanilla coming up and giving you a slap, hello, I'm still here, um, it's quite nice, yeah, fruity, it's smooth, yolk influence has followed through. Not like that. Um, no, it's come through to this bit. It's quite good. The nose was a bit more than the, the palette. I was hoping for a bit more on the palette, if I'm honest. Maybe if I try some more on the palette, and see what I get if I nose it at the same time. Let's give that a go. That one doesn't ever fail me. Mm. Mm. Doing it that way on the nose, as you palate it, taste it, when you're doing it through the nose, 
you almost get like a tobacco-y kind of smell. Um, not smoke as such. Maybe a little bit of char. The finish is a good length. It's probably medium. Um, again, it's probably a fruity finish as well, actually. Yeah, quite fruity on the finish. And I'd say the hint of char will follow from the palette to some of the finish. So there you have it. So, <clears throat> summary time. So, Rich Oak, we looked at um, 14 years ex Bourbon, and then there were 12 weeks in New European Oak, six weeks in New American, and we looked at why, you know. Why they do each, I don't know for sure, but imaginatively speaking. There was a lot of oak influence on the nose, quite fruity, a bit of vanilla. We got, the fruits were uh, dates, raisins. I feel like I'm missing something there. Did I say plum? Pretty sure I said plum. I'm going to go with plum, sounds right. Ladies and plum as a vanilla. Oh, it's vanilla even the fruit. Nutmeg, cinnamon. Very nice, rich. Moved on to the palate. Like that. It was quite fruity. It was rich. It was smooth. It was vanilla. It was quite sweet as well. Then I palated it and nosed it, which led me on to finding things like on the nose while it was in my mouth, a bit of like almost like a tobacco y kind of smell. And maybe a smell of a bit of char. The char then followed through to the finish. The finish was good, kind of like medium length. Uh, it was quite fruity. Um, and that was it. That was it indeed. Food pairings. Okay, so here's one, okay. Um, we were just mucking around with some food and we did like a, a roasted crispy duck. Oh, uh, very fair. Uh, roasted crispy duck, cucumber, spring onion, celery, kind of like a pomegranate, roasted chilli and lime. <laughs> Had this with it. Really good. I believe this particular kind of whiskey goes quite well with meat, but the roasted duck went very nicely with the Glen Fiddick Rich Oak. Very nice. Uh, yeah, that's basically my review. So, any questions, let me know. Uh, don't forget to like this video. Please like this video. Um, don't forget to get in touch. Don't forget to subscribe and all that other lovely jazz. And um, let me know if you're interested in buying a whiskey tube. We could talk on the whiskey tube. You put your ear at that end, and I will talk to you through the whiskey tube. Um... Yeah, that's basically it. All right, well, you have a good one, guys, and I'll catch you soon. See you on the next video.